How's it going everybody? In this series I'm going to be showing you how to succeed and grow mosses and liverworts and bladderworts. Uh, mosses and liverworts are in the classification bryophyte, which basically just means a small non-vascular plant. Um, they play a vital role in collecting nutrients and water for plants living alongside them. Of course in the aquarium they do a great job at collecting detritus and things like that. They're doing their job quite well but you want to just make sure you keep them clean, have a cleanup crew, have high flow. Um, they are slow growing, so they are prone to algae. And so you just want to make sure that you're going to have good flow, a good cleanup crew. As well, they usually prefer cooler water between 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit. But at the same time, they usually like higher light. Um, today we're going to be talking about Ricardia clamidrifolia. Uh, it's a liverwort, uh, a.k.a. coral moss, a.k.a. mini pellia. Um, it can be hard to come by. It is pretty expensive. Um, it does like to detach from the wood and the rocks as well once it gets a little bit larger. You can see right here I'm going to repair some of the Ricardia that I have that has become detached. Um, I usually do it by trimming the sides and making the sides thinner. That way the sides will reconnect to the driftwood um, or the rock and then instead of you know trimming the middle I want to keep it a dome so I'll just super glue the middle um, a lot of people may think that you trim it to look like a dome or that you may trim it um, regularly but I don't I don't even touch it I just might wave my hand through it when I do a water change to get the detritus out of it and I just leave it alone. It's very delicate, you don't want to touch it too much. Even when it's attached, once it's a bigger dome, it's, it's barely attached. But once again, you can trim the sides to make them thinner so it will reattach if it becomes detached and then of course super glue the middle. Um, and that's basically it, you know, it's, it's going to want higher light. Um, cooler temperatures, so keep that in mind with most mosses and liverworts. Not all mosses, but you just want to make sure that you're going to have a good flow with a cleanup crew and you don't want to have big algae eating fish, you don't want to have placos, anything like that. You're going to want to have it in a, a tank with very delicate fish, delicate cleanup crews. Um, it is pretty expensive once again, so you may want to start out using it in a nano tank. Um, but what's great about it is it develops from a single cell, it develops from spores, so you can have a tiny, tiny bit and you can make a big plant from it. Um, and so, you know, you might, you may buy plants and then the plants have a little bit in there and next thing you know you have uh, Ricardia growing in your tank. But that's basically it for this episode. Next time we'll talk about Fissidens. Um, and I'll talk about how to succeed with Fissidens Fontanus, a.k.a. Phoenix Moss. Until next time, thanks for watching. Keep your sleeves wet. Peace out.